All right, welcome everybody. We're back with <laughs> back with the Majora's Mask randomizer. It was like over a three hour stream last night, and I only got through a single three day cycle in the game, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. I also got basically every single major item in the game. The only two items I need left to beat the game are the new wave Bossa Nova and the Sonata of Awakening. That's pretty cool, but I also haven't beaten any of the dungeons yet. So, this is gonna be fun times. Anyhow, we're starting new use progress. Sure, be some fun times. So, first thing I'm gonna do. Because I have my notepad here with all of the important information for reoccurring items. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... Pirate Fortress. Even though I actually got all the chests in Pirate's Fortress, there's a nice little thing called a bottle of Chateau Romani hidden there. I want to get that and drink it so I have unlimited magic for this uh, <laughs> free day cycle. Let's see how that goes. Chateau Romani just breaks the game. Because that means you can use, like, the fierce TD masks, like sword beams, light arrows, fire arrows, ice arrows, all the arrows with impunity, as well as the Zoro's uh, shield. And since I'm... We're probably going to end up doing either Stone Tower Temple or Snowhead Temple this, uh, randomizer. Not this randomizer, this cycle. Well, it's probably gonna be nice. Hey, Mobius, uh, you, Zora Link, you're going the wrong way. Welcome to the stream. Oh, what? I got caught. Impossible. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. I could use, uh, Human Link and just put on the Stone Mask and swim, but it's faster to swim as a Zora. I'm still, I, I'm still hesitant to start a dungeon because I don't have the Great Fairy Mask, which means getting the Stray Fairies is nightmare. And there could be something important hidden behind getting all the stray fairies. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the different abilities of the mask is a cool concept, and honestly, I do like... Oh, come on. They've got a lot of sight. Like Mario's frog suit. Ye yes, but completely different. Mario's frog suit is awful. Whereas the, ma the transformation masks in this are fun. The Zora one less so, because I don't really like the swing controls. And the Goron can be tricky to control. But I really like the Deku mask transformation. That works super well. Alright, now I have to remember which chest it was that had the Chateau Romani in it. I know it was in here somewhere. That chest, because that's the one that had the, the guy's decapitated head in it. The Camaro mask. Also, if I ever get really stuck, I do have the spoiler log. So if I really need to find out where the uh, Bossa Nova or the Sonata of Awakening are, I can just consult that. But there's still a lot of places I haven't checked, so I shouldn't have to resort to that. That was graceful. <laughs> when you've got a wide open area, the Zora Swimming is actually pretty good. It's when, you, when you're confined to a small pool like this one, 
that it can kind of go crazy. Alright, is this the one with the Chateau Romani? No, nah, it was a piece of art. Alright. Is it this one? Nah, that's a bundle of arrows. Bobber. Maybe it was the piece of art inside the cage, then. I also really like how they changed the tuna colors. I mean, I personally am like, they asked me, like, hey, what tuna color do you want? And I chose this blue. I didn't realize they would, they would change it for, like, the Zora's head. Sure, it was one of those two chests. I'm actually gonna just look that up briefly. Uh, where is it? Oh, maybe it doesn't respawn? Because it said it was in one of the chests that I looked in. Oh, that's a shame. That's a bummer. No infinite magic for me unless I go to the milk bar and buy it. And I don't really want to do that. Oh, bother. Oh, stuff and fluff. Alright, why? Well, I, I need cash. I need that cash money, so... Let's go kill a bird. Because birds are very rich in this. Especially birds like this. Oh man, he's flying off. If he goes off screen like that, I can't do much to get him. Oh, he's gonna be... Uh-uh. Oh, come on! Um, does the bird normally increase speed by, like, 10,000% when he grabs your sword? Or am I just unlucky? I'm just unlucky. Great, so now I gotta get my gilded sword back. And that's my easy way of getting cash. Yeah. I still don't know how to destroy the pea hat. That's probably something I should have looked up. Oh, that's right, I don't have my sword. And I can't even get my sword back until night time. Reasonably late at night as well. Fifty-one rupees. That is, that should be enough, but you never know. All right, off to Clock Town. 
Oh, and if I don't have a sword, I don't think I can leave. And I can't even show him that I do have a sword. Bobber. That stupid bird. <laughs> hey, honey and Darwin. I do have a bomb bag. Oh, wait, no, I don't have a bomb bag? This is very bizarre. I don't understand how that works. Because I have bombs! But they're like, oh, you don't have a bomb bag when you can't play. It's like, well, I have bombs. Like, not on me, but I have the ability to carry bombs. time, two hours. Did you know about the carnival? People wear creepy masks. Alright, it, it's on the eve of the festival. I get red potion. Okay. I won't say no to that. Four giants till morning. Backstory on Skull Kid, that's always fun. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so Grandma just gives you potions, okay. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it. And now it's the second day. That's just fantastic. This means I can go on the boat cruise now. Because I don't know what I get for the boat cruise. Hmm. Something to think about. Because I, I never revived uh, the Twitter of assistance in the forest, uh, Kiyame. And she gives you something when you go on the boat cruise. Usually the pick a box, but probably won't be that this time. Although I wouldn't say no to the pickle box, because that means I can go to Pinnacle Rock and there's treasure there. Sovereign Swamp is very cool in the rain and very funny. Oh, but I have to make sure I get my sword back before I reset time. She's like, nobody's helping me, I'm gonna fight me myself. Game yields a segment of health. Okay. Piece of heart on the moon. That's weird. Do I have to talk to the monkey in order to make the path? Does the path change every time? Or am I just losing it? What the heck? This is a completely different path. I never knew- What the heck is going on? Is it a different path depending on what day you do it? This is so bizarre. The woods of Mystery is right. Holy cow. I'm really, really confused right now. It's because Kotaka is in here? I'm very, very weirded out right now. Stupid monkey, just go down the path you want to go down. 
I have never seen that before. Here's your red potion, lady. But I want the bottle back. <laughs> you may not keep the bottle. I like how because she's the red witch, she needs red potion. <laughs> Give me something good. After this, I actually... Well, after this, I'm going to do... Curiosity Shop. I need to buy my sword back. After that, I'm not sure, though. Oh, thank you! You know, I'm I'm quite okay with that. Welcome to the boat. I, no, I can't talk Arena off of it. Alright, I'm gonna turbo through this then. So how's everyone's night going? Mine's going very well. It's a beautiful day out, and I'm playing video games. <laughs> I also had a delicious dinner, even if the grainy, if even if my gravy was not as thick as it should be. <laughs> now arriving at Tiku Palace, I am disembarking. I'm not sure if that's even in this. In the randomizer. I haven't seen it around before. This is going to be a short free day cycle. Because of Grandma's story. Um, that's been long closed. Well, that's fine. Guess we'll just turbo through this as well. <laughs> I wish my turbo went faster than this. Oh, well, this is turboing. I'm going to look up how to beat that pea hat. So there's a pea hat that I could not figure out how to beat. <gasps> oh! Is that why? If so, that's kind of stupid, but also kind of cool. It says you can't beat it if it's at night. Or maybe you can't beat it if it's during the day. So I guess after this, I'll head over to the pea hat hole. And then kill it. One way or another, I'm going to kill it. Anyhow. Come on, Curiosity Shop. Open up. We got the goods tonight. Yeah, that's mine. From now on, be more careful. 
So that guy trained his pet bird to steal people's stuff. Fly at turbo speed. So he can sell it for a proud. That guy's shady. Alright, hey bro. I'm actually going to make a deposit. Oh, that's right. Oh, you get that every time you make it? You reach the 200 rupee deposit? Are you seared? Wow. Alright. I'm gonna deposit that too. That's fantastic. Dude, I got my sword. He's like, oh, well, okay. I will not be hunting after that guy's bird again. Don't need to. As fun as revenge would be. Alright, is the P-Hat active at night time or daytime? Chess, so this is an important one. Hey, it's the mountain title deed! How about that? Okay. That's important to know. Gonna just jot that down. Well, then in that case, I'm going... Oh, actually, wait. One thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to withdraw those 200 rupees I had that I just put in. And I'm instead going to spend that on a bomb bag that the Deku Scrub and Mountain Boy is selling. Hey, banker. I know I just deposited the 200 rupees, but I really need them back. <laughs> That's the sound of the money counting up. Definitely the easiest of the title deeds to get. So I can give that to the hand in the toilet. I think that would be a good idea. I actually think Goron is faster. Once you go up to the once you're up to speed. And I I don't have unlimited magic, that's Michael Jackson. Just beat it. Alright. Deku Scrub over here. I haven't checked what he's selling, because I didn't. When I checked earlier, I could only carry 99 rupees. Hey, bro. I would love this. It's the new wave bossa nova. So I only need one more item left in order to enter go mode. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's his title deed. I just offered his own deed. My bad. I offered the mountain scrub the mountain title deed. No, I need to go to... Zora Cape in order to do that. It's the guy at Zora Cape who wants the 
mountain twig. Still glad I bought the bait for that guy, though. That's very important. So to the Creeper Zora who's hanging out outside uh, Macau's wife's dressing room. Yo, get out of here. But now I can also use this to get that piece of heart up there. Or whatever this is. It's the Great Fairy Mask, y'all! Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, it's dungeon time. After we reset time, that is. Well, considering how short that free day time that time cycle was, we got some pretty important stuff. The Great Fairy Mask now means I can go to the dungeons and get all the stray fairies, and potentially get the, re uh, the whatever rewards are there for them. Dawn of the first day. All I need is Sonata of Awakening. That's all I need. Alright, I think we're going to head to Snowhead Temple first, because that's the shortest one to do. And the one I'm most familiar with, out of the ones that I can explore. and the hook shot, you can sequence break a lot. Which is really nice. stop the guy from sneezing on you. He thought if the game expected you to get past this part while wow, he's blowing wind on you, even though I don't think that's possible. I wish I could have gotten Chateau Romani, but you win some, you lose some. Oh. Oh.
Thank you. Because, like, there's only one hole out of, like, the six on there that can actually destroy, like, shoot through. All the others are invisible walls. I don't know why. skip this entire Lens of Truth trip by using the hookshot. We totally can. Oh, well. Why can I not hit that? Oh, I bet I know why. It's because there's an invisible platform in the way, isn't there? Snowhead, I'd say, is the best design of the dungeons. It actually has a cool gimmick later on. Boss time already. I like the fire arrows, we can make it a bit faster. Actually, fierce team might be able to make it a bit faster.
Alright, so this is gonna be the dungeon item, which will be a random item. It's the razor sword, but I already have the gilded sword. So thankfully he doesn't downplay that. That's an option you can turn on. But I don't really see the point. supposed to have to go to the very top of Snowhead Temple to get that one. Well, that's the last of my magic meters, so hopefully I can find some more in this room. There are pots, I feel confident. Mainly the Goron dungeon, you're supposed to use Goron Link a lot, but you also do use Dicky Link at different points as well. Like, you never, it's never like, oh, well, I used the Goron masks, you never need to use that again. Like, you actually do use it consistently throughout the game, which is nice. Unless you hate Goron Link, which I totally understand. <laughs> So every dungeon in Majora's Mask has 15 stray fairies hidden in, the, in them. If you collect them all near all, each of the dungeons is a great fairy fountain, and if you bring all the stray fairies there, it'll create a great fairy who will give you a uh, item. So in the vanilla game, if you do it in snow, if you get all 15 uh, stray fairies in the Snowhead Temple, what happens is that you get the double magic meter. But here, I could potentially get the Sonata of Awakening. Very happy about it. So it's basically just one of those things where, like, in the randomizer, because I, there's still an item that I need, I kind of have to get it. I kind of have to get them just to check, which is why I was I didn't really want to enter any of the dungeons until I got the Great Fairy Mask, which makes getting the Stray Fairies a lot easier. Like, it's... There are some Stray Fairies you just flat out will not be able to get without the Great Fairy Mask because they hover out of your reach and they won't go to you. Speaking of which, I need to put that again. Oh, man. And I switch freezes fast. 
as great as the bunny hood is. Uh, nope. That is not what I wanted. Also, those rats are creepy. These rats are literally terrorists. The Crane Fairy Mask looks absolutely ridiculous, but it is useful in the dungeons. So there are actually no great, no stray fairies in this room because my hair is not shimmery. So what the great fairy? Oh, did I not explain? Okay, what the great fairy mask does is when you wear it, if there are stray fairies that are just flying around, they will fly towards you, so you can pick them up. And it also, you can see how there's, there are these pink dots coming off of the hair on the mask. That means there's a stray fairy in the room. So the Great Fairy's just flying around randomly. When I put it on, the Great Fairy, or the Stray Fairy's not flying towards me. And now the hair is no longer shimmery, so that means there are no more Stray Fairies in this room. So it's useful for finding and hunting for Stray Fairies. Round two. This time it's personal. Oh, come on. Mask is very ugly. Oh yes! Thank goodness it's not a transformation mask. doesn't ever, like, say anything in this. Why can't they turn off Navi in the Ocarina of Time randomizer? So I already have the boss key, even though I am not even... I've only explored, like, half the dungeon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no fall damage. traversing the dungeon a little trickier. Thankfully, there's a lot of different ways to do it. That's the door I'm looking for. Ah, oh, yeah, that is the door I am looking for. 
for. Oh. got like the crescent moon pattern in Ocarina and the new Kuro pattern in the remake because the crescent moon was too similar to the Islam symbol so they had to change it or they preemptively decided to change it we can sequence break with the hook shot. Instead of having to go to the second floor and enter this room, we can instead just do that. That's rude. Alright, only four more straight fairies in the dungeon. Bombs appear for me to pick up, but it, the game will not let me carry them. Is it because I don't have the bomb bag? Probably. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Yeah, there's a stray fairy in that crate up there. That's annoying. trapped inside. That's funny. It's he's trapped inside of the ice lake. Sometimes the stray fairies can be weird. Just come to me. There we go. <laughs> I must say I'm proud of that quote-unquote sequence break. Oh, 
Now we can skip this entire puzzle. That's a mean we hit it straight there, but we got them all. Cool. This is where the fun begins. Sequence breaking with the hook shot. My mild sequence breaking. Thank you, hook shot. Big mistake is hit smashing the pillar platform up here before going down here. Because if you do that, you will not be able to lower the pillar enough. There we go. Now we've lowered it to as low as it'll go. I'm gonna remember the, the bunny hood long jump to reach that stray fairy that the deacon is supposed to get up here. Oh. 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 Up to the top floor, and this is where the boss room is. Yeah, there's a Tika flower up here. You're supposed to fly all the way down to that alcove where I was earlier in order to get that one straight fairy, but nope. I ain't doing that. Now, I think the Fierce Deity Mask is supposed to make this fight a bit easier, but honestly, it's basically just as easy to do with. Boron Link. Best name for a boss ever. Mass Mechanical Monster Goat. Knocks you out of your rolling mode so easily. Now, ideally, I want to knock him down. If I can do that. Those blasts are so difficult to avoid. Partly because the rolling control is terrible. If I can knock him down. Take that, go. <laughs> but you still have to chase him down as Goron. We can knock him down before for your skinny can finish the job. Because he can outrun the sword pretty much all the time. Alright, go. So, I'll get one item from the heart container. And I'll get one item from Goat's Remains. Hopefully one of them is the Sonata of Wink. Oh, it's the last bottle. Well, hot dog. Alright, I'll take that. And what's this? It's the special delivery for Mama. Okay. And I also get goat's remains. <laughs> Alright, I gotta write that down. Special... Special delivery is goat's remains. G 
Just had to write that down in case I need that for future reference, because you can get two different items from Special Delivery for Mama, but not in the same time loop. And now it's spring. Before necessary in the training sequence? Well, if I do, I crash the game. Title deed. So all of like the trading sequence items are in here. All right. Swamp title deed. Deed right near where the Deku wants the swamp title lead. That's fantastic. to offer you the deal of a lifetime. <laughs> oh, the couple's mask. Okay. That could be useful. What's this piece of art? Hey, it's a piece of art. Elito Camina, welcome. I just beat Snowhead Temple, and now I'm trying to find the last thing I need to beat the game, to beat the seed, which is the Sonata of Awakening. I cannot enter the Wall Temple, but I have that. I don't really want to do the Goron race, but I do want to get my Powder Keg license. Come on! If I just leave it here, I think it blows him up. 
I've gotten very lucky in this seat during my first... During last stream, like, from last night, where I first started this, I got, like, all the important items really early on. But now I'm in a position where I'm like, there's one thing I need to find, and there's still a ton of places I haven't checked, so it's figuring out which one. And the Goron race is one of the most annoying things to do, so I really don't want to do it. But I, at this point, I will be able to buy powder things. I mean, it's... <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. <laughs> I like how the white wolfoses turn into regular wolfoses after you beat Snowhead. It's a nice touch. It's like they just. White wolfoses are literally just wolfoses, but covered in snow. They're like, oh, hey man, thanks. I was getting really cold, but now I'm gonna attack you. Hey, baby corn, get out of the way. This fane is, uh. It's pretty powerful. Just a good way. Out of my way. You did it! Yeah, I did. No, I'm not going after him. That's... What the heck? How do his legs bend that way? Locked, like, sideways. Alright. Can I make it? No, I can't. <laughs> ah, I should not have done that. Now I forget, if I go back, if I go back to Medigoron, who gave me the powder keg, will he actually give me an item? Because I want to say once you go back and he's like, oh hey, you blew up the entrance, here, take a free powder keg. Take free explosives, be a terrorist. I have gotten a lot of free explosives in this seed. Someone put bomb shoes in the mailbox? It was very strange. And I called the United States Postal Service over that. <laughs> that wasn't fun, was it, Mirror Shield? No, 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 no. Anyhow, back to medical room. Powder kegs are very explosive, so I'm giving you one for free. Also, because it warped me to Mountain Village, I didn't get to trade in my stray fairies. Which is a bit of a, a, bit of a problem. Oh, good. Big Goron, <laughs> even though he fell in the gorge because I played him the lullaby, he's like, oh, I'm fine. No worries. Alright. Oh, hey, our container. That's pretty good. I think the worst case scenario would be if the Sonata of Awakening is behind the 5,000 rupee bank deposit or board. That would just be so much grinding. Oh. Is the mailman in? He is! Alright, cool. That is... <laughs> Darn it! No! That's <laughs> Here we go. Um, okay.
Okay, I'm sorry, but I pressed it at the right time, and it purposefully didn't. That was not 0.027 seconds, that was 0 0.0 seconds. I had to push it early. There was a little bit of lag up on that. Oh, hey, thanks, mailman. <laughs> because of that, now I don't have to, to withdraw anything from the bank in order to get a powder keg. Hey, bro, give me a powder keg. Wait, but I do have approval. I, I even blew up the racetrack. I mean, I blew up the entrance to the racetrack. I didn't blow up the racetrack. That would be evil. Oh, are you serious? So I have to. F I just have to find a powder keg lying out there. Oh no! Oh, golf ball size. Hail! Do you mind getting a move on? I want to talk to her while wearing this sweet mask. There we go. Hi! Alright, well I'm not going to Milk Road like I thought I was, because I can't blow the fiend up. to go next. Oh, I know where I'm going next. I am going to the Ocean Sculptula House. Oh, well. No, I'm not going to the Ocean Sculptula House, because Ocean Sculptula House requires Captain's Hat. And I don't have the Captain's Hat. All right, I could go to the Swamp Sculptula House, or Great Bay Temple, or Stone Tower Temple. I'll go to Great Bay Temple. I really don't like Stone Tower Temple. Actually, that's a cool design. There's just too much backtrack. from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Shiny on his back can be a little tricky. Alright, off to the Great Bay Temple. Which, it's like, oh, did you think that the Water Temple from Ocarina of Time was bad? Oh, this is way worse. Bombs, but it doesn't actually add to my bomb count. Because 
apparently I got bombs, but not a bomb bag. Which puzzles me. the thing. This dungeon only has... This dungeon only has two keys, and one of them is the boss key. So I do kind of like that. Oh, whoops. That was a mistake. arrows, which are normally the dungeon items. Dungeon. How... How much sequence breaking can I do? One of the more annoying street theories. Watch my magic meter. Because apparently, game developers don't want me to have magic in this dungeon. Oh, well, first time we can sequence break with ice arrows. <sighs> Out of magic, are you serious? Hey, Kamikaze Terrorist Mouse, I don't really want to deal with you. Oh man! Are you serious?
Okay, there's some magic. I'd like some more, though. That's what I'm talking about. As I was saying about secrets, out on that key, though. So this will lead all the way back to, like, that first big room with the current machine. So now it's backtracking again, but before I change the current, there's more of the dungeon rooms. It's, again, it's a cool... Uh, pretty much all of the Majora's Mask dungeons have cool ideas, they just weren't executed. means it's not a super fun experience. That shield exists. Oh man, this whole dungeon became so much easier, especially the last fight. Oh yeah, that's a cool attack that the Zora can do. I always forget about that. It's like, a, it's like the Zora's jump attack. Anyway. 
Really, Zora Link? Are you for real? Look at this. Like, I know there's a chest up on that platform, but I just gotta dive into the water. This. Oh, yes. Alright, well, it... No, no, no. Throw me out. 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 Thank you. Alright, Link. Don't go far enough to go into the water. I just want you to get close enough so you can grapple that pot. Just like that. Look. Just ugh, creepy mouse. Is that a stray fairy just now? Oh, that has the one key in it. This room has both the keys that you need. The boss key is behind that gate. far away from the platform. What do you want from me? There we go. It's a slide, it's a slide, it's a slide. <laughs> Alright, now that we have the small key, we can... <laughs> we can go through the small 
A small key is exactly what we need to open a small door. And now I can fight now I can fight the other mini boss in the dungeon. This one's also creepy. Just in a different way. And this one's also a lot harder. Toady Port face back there was a... Uh... Actually, Toady Port face, that is. Those are the mini bosses. Because this mini boss is Wart and the last guy was Toad. Oh, one with Fierce DA Mask. This is gonna be fun. Hi, man. Yeah, my my double helix is going to shred. Still haven't found the combat. Just one that I noted. I am destroying so much stuff in this game. Give me a good item. Give me a good item. Oh, not a gilded chest, so probably not gonna be very good. Oh, it's the map of Great Bay in the Great Bay Temple. I guess that's appropriate. Now at this point. At this point I can soar back to the entrance. Because I have to go back to like the first one. dungeon where like you reverse the current and like you all of the like freezing the pipes it, it works and it is cool it just doesn't work super well Ah, 
They're just so slow and confusing. Can you tell I'm a noob yet? for making this a unique water dungeon. Not, I'm not giving props to the fact that the Zora controls are terrible. There we go. That spins in the opposite direction, which you will reverse.
Why you don't dive on your head onto the land? It's not gonna end well. What do you mean? I wanna go in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So now I can go back this from here. Oh, that's right. This one is the baloney. chest in this room that is so freaking difficult to fall out of the beach. Oh, my God. 
that's taken care of. No, no, you what? I wish I could equip ice arrows on one C button and fire arrows on another, but no, it's tied to your bow. in there. You have to be in like just the right spot to be able to hook shut up. Simple jump back to the platform and we could have gone back. But no, because you had to fall. Now we have to go all the way back from this room for like the 20th time. Alright, finally we're out of that cursed, cursed room. 
Fire and ice arrows in here. It is well done. Do I have at this point? I'm missing three. Alright. Well, I know where a couple of them are. I know where two of them are. I can't quite remember what the next one is. They give you plenty of magic meat powder refills in this game. It would be most unfair if it did not. If you could pull out the bow and, bow and just switch between fire and ice arrows without having to use the menu. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dane Chest. I just want what's mine. <laughs> Nessie, welcome to Artie Struggles Heavily in the Great Bay Temple. I've had to go through each room like 20 times. Because I just can't remember how to get all the dang chests. Oosh, I even have the compass to tell me where the chests are and I still struggle. Ugh, boy. I also beat Snowhead Temple. That went a lot better. I genuinely don't remember how to get this chest. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, no. Don't you dare. You son of a freaking god! I am not joking. That's like the eighth time I've fallen. Because Link refuses to jump off the pipes. Yeah, I just now realized, oh, you gotta turn into Zora Link so he's tall enough to climb. Eighth time I've had to repeat this dumb seesaw thing. Because the pipes are like impossible to walk on. Alright. Take eight. Eight times the charm. I want to like the Great Bay Temple because it is a cool idea, but it's just absolutely terribly executed. And the boss is the worst part. Well, I admit, the boss has gotten a lot easier when I realized that the electric shield can't hurt him and you don't have to use the boomerangs. <laughs> oh, 
All right. I'm impressed that I was able to shoot that bubble. Thank goodness that's all the stray fairies. But again, the stray fairies are a reward. Best case scenario, if it does give me the Sonata of Awakening, I'll be happy I went for all that crap. Otherwise, it's gonna just be... So people say that you can hit Georg with the Fierce Deity Mask. I haven't found that to be the case, though. Alright. Also, this isn't a temple. This is... This is a machine. No Great Bait Temple. If so, this is the highest tech temple there is. I should have done Stone Tower Temple. With light arrows, you can at least breeze through that. Gargantuan Masked Fish, Kiwa. So let's see if I actually can hit him with sword things. Oh! Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh, that just shreds his HP. delivery for mama do you do i get the special delivery for mama no matter which oh oh i get it the special delivery of mama is what the oak to order used to be i also really don't want to have to do the goron race i could potentially have to do the goron race but i don't want to There you go, bros. Stage lights are turned on. <laughs> Link just likes diving headfirst on this stuff. Hello, it is me, Mikau. Sonata of 
Yes, I am a musical genius. Wasn't I supposed to get a piece of heart for that? I thought I was supposed to get a piece of heart for that. Hmm, whatever. I'm going to the fairy fountain. <laughs> jump out of the water onto a field of land. I'm just gonna kill all the fish bugs in the sea out of spite. There we go. Good lord. <laughs> also, I'm missing the mask of sense, the captain's hat, and the circus leader's mask. Please be Sonata of Awakening. That was probably the worst reward I could have gotten. Thanks, Stray Fairies. Not. Alright. Whatever. I had to try. I had to try, but darn it, I could have beaten the Great Bay Temple so fast if I didn't go after the Stray Fairies. Oh well. So that means I could do Stone Tower Temple. That's kind of the next big thing for me to do. But there's also a couple of miscellaneous other things I can do. I still don't have a freaking bomb bag. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to meet Anju last night. I was too busy in the Great Bay Temple. I didn't leave to talk to Anju. I would like an audience with the mayor, if you don't mind. The rats. Everyone's mouth is open. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank, thank you for putting a stop to that. Here, take some money. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. Mayor. The mayor's like, I really hate it when people go to my office. Here, I will pay you money if you make them go away. I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, I can't remember, where did I get the blue potion? Because one thing is, there's somewhere I could get a blue potion. If I do that, I, I have the Gibdo mask. I can do the bottom of the well. There are two treasure chests that didn't find in the bottom of the well. But I'll do that later. For now, 
I don't want to do it, but, uh, Goron Race. Well, now I know. If I need money, I can just go to the mayor and talk to him with a couple of friends. Once per time, Cyclone, he gives me a hefty chunk of change. Alright. So, post in Twitch chat, how many tries do you think it'll take for me to beat the Goron race? I am guessing eight. Because that's like the number of times I've had to do everything. And history repeats itself. I hate the Goron race so much. <laughs> you can't get a head start. I'm not counting those as a losing, by the way. This is still the first attempt. So Nessie's guessing it'll take me two to three times. You have a lot of faith in me, Nessie. <laughs> That's what happens like every time I do the Goron race. It's so stupid. Stone Tower Temple does have three things. Uh, three hit points there. Whatever the light arrows turn into, whatever the giant's mask turns into, and then whatever the work into. So. I run out of things to think of doing. Oh, after this, I'm gonna go to Swamp Art. I haven't done Swamp Art yet. The fact that they have rubber band AI does not make this better. You son of a gun! Every time! There go, he's about to get his spikes back. Quick, hit him, so he has to recharge the tire. Oh, I guess those two guys are going to recharge. Right, that's the first place. The problem is, at this point, if you're not in first place, you're probably not going to win. speedrunners have trouble with the Goron race. So I feel better about that.
best to just not be in first until you get in first at the end. Because it feels like once they're in first, they never, they're, they're, the rubber band AI doesn't lower their speed. It's just like, oh, you got a head start, so they increase speed for the entire rest of the race. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try purposefully hanging around behind at the beginning and then not going first until it's towards the end so the rubber band AI doesn't have enough time to catch up. So I'm not going to get like a huge head start. I'm going to let them pass me. Absolutely do increase speed when you get a big hits. when you get when you have a big lead. They, their speed goes up. I don't think it ever goes back down. Which means you can't catch them. That, that was my own story. But we're all clustered together still, and I like that. No one has a huge lead, so. Thank you, Nessie. <laughs> so that's, I think, the key. Don't get in first at the very beginning. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some off archery. The things I have left that I can do, I have swamp archery, the perfect town archery. I have stone tower temple. Uh, the hand in the toilet. The Andrew Cafe side quest. I get all that. But I'm actually, like, kind of decent at Swamp Archery, so... Oh, oh also, All Night Mask. I have not... I have not experienced what the All Night Mask is. But I don't think I can even buy it without the Giant's Mask. <laughs> Oh, and I could do Swamp Sculptula House. Swamp Archery is very manageable. Town Archery is a lot more difficult. Oh, that's pretty darn good. Oh, hey, Big Quiver. I think I already had that, though. Did I already do Swamp Archery and I forgot about it? Oh, well. I'm gonna try 
multi-town shooting gallery. Try to do that perfectly. If not, then if that doesn't work, I might go to sw uh, Swamp Spider House. I'm not sure if I want to do Stone Tower Temple tonight, because I've already done two dungeons. I guess Swamp Spider House is a mini dungeon. <laughs> hey man, I got big lips, so you know you can trust me. Five rupees, man. He's like, hey, want to shoot real live animals, kid? Like, oh, not really, but I'll give you something good if you can shoot them all. It's like, oh, well. He actually just has an Octorok infestation, and he's like, oh, he's, I'm, I'm too lazy to call an exterminator. I'll turn it into a target game and have people pay me for it. <laughs> I promise if you hit a blue one, it's all over, but if you don't hit all the purple ones, it's also over. Even though I can carry bombs. Or maybe I just found a one time bomb prize that I gave them to me. It's weird. Mm-hmm. 
wow, you really sucked at that one. It's like you were trying to lose. up if I need to do this one. <laughs> okay, no, I don't have to do this one. I, if I beat this, I will get the bomber's notebook, but I don't I don't need the bomber's notebook. Sorry. Sorry, Charlie. Alright, well... Hey lady, what's up? I do have to do something with the special delivery for Mama, though. I could either get the postman's hat, or I could get... Not the postman's hat. Uh, the bottle with the Chateau Romani in it. I'm going to collect... to get the uh, fish prize that's in the laboratory. After that, I think I'm going to Swamp Sculpture House. Nothing important. I should 
does the fish respawn in this grotto? Or is it still in my bottle and therefore it won't come back? It just keeps respawning! Nice! Oh, that's nice. So getting at all the fish is actually really easy. I don't think I'm going to need all six bottles filled of fish, but I don't want to have to make more than one trip. <laughs> Link's got an aquarium. Oh, I got the biggest quiver from the... Swamp archery. Oh, there's also the, um, the torch game that I can play on Green Bay Coast as well. Where you jump wherever the torch is lit and get a piece of heart. It's feeding time, fishies. I can't remember how many fish this takes. I think it can vary depending on how many times each fish eats and how many other fish. It's not necessarily always the same one that eats the fish every time. You see that time the little fish is in, not the bigger one. Fish number five. Oh, took six fish. All right. Or fit five fish, I mean. It's the letter to cafe! <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I don't know why that fish ate cafe's letter. That's kind of rude. Wow. <laughs> Cafe's like, please, like, like, and you, like, I will come for you. Like, I still love you. Like, you're the light of my life. And then the fish is like, mm -hmm. <laughs> tasty. <laughs> it's not very nice. Come the freak on, Great Bay Coast. It's like, oh, I know. We'll make it so it's, like, impossible to actually climb up the ledges you have to actually <laughs> Fisherman's jump gate, please ride a boat to the Fisherman's Island to inquire about that. All right, yes, I would like to. Wow, the boat drives itself. How about that? Yeah, there's Hookshot Island. How did I forget about Hookshot Island? Nice shooting, Link. Oh, sorry. Evenings are f 
and first thing in the morning my break times. That's literally just designed so you can't use the song of double time in order to get through that quickly. You, fat man, are the weakest link. I can, I think I can. I know I can, I know I can! I think there's something in that on Hookshot Island. Do I need a magic bean for that though? I forget. Well, it's possible. But it's also possible that I can sequence break this bad boy. For the glory! <laughs> that was not very glorious, Link. <laughs> so it looks like I will need a magic bean for that. Well, that's just... Grotto I spot? It is a grotto, but it's just a cow grotto. I don't care for the cow grottos. Uh, sleeping witch possesses a heart. I'm talking about Grandma Andrew because I definitely got a red potion from her. say, for your sake, you better be open for business. I got a hundred rupees to my name, and I will spend it here if it means grabbing myself a nice Sonata of Awakening. Yeah. Alright, dude. Okay. I'm back to the tour. Oh, if I want to play, jump to the center island. Okay. I would do exactly that. <laughs> this is a game I remember, like, being simple in theory. But could actually be really annoying at times. And most of it has to do with the terrible camera angle. Which makes it really annoying to jump. And if you fall in even once, then it's over. I'm sorry, I couldn't see! You zoom the camera out just a little bit. 
He's like, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, it's harder than it looks because you purposefully make it stupidly difficult. Because of the camera. I only have to get 20 or more. Maybe the bunny hood is gonna screw me up more. He's like, oh, watch me do this cool jump. <laughs> it's like, no, no. Save it for later. Okay, you can change the camera. No, no, no. no. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> I'm getting rich. <laughs> That's all he does. <laughs> Don't roll jump. Just regular hop. Definitely heard that torch getting rid Besides the torch you can't see, um... At least there are no ice traps in the drawer, so it's not like, here's your prize. <laughs> freezes you. Alright, I think I've won the game, but I don't even want to risk it at this point. It might be like, oh, you jumped in the water, you're disqualified from the prize. Like, I got a hundred of them. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I want to take your beats. Watch the prize beat 20 rupees. Want to play this game for 20 rupees? If you win, you get your money back. So what do I get out of this? The satisfaction of playing the game. Alright, that takes it. <laughs> that was a little too easy. Okay, so I made a little bit of money back. I guess I can't argue with that. He basically just gave me back all the money that he took from me. I made a 20 rupee profit off of doing that game. Alright, off to the swamp sculpture house. Which hopefully won't take super long. And you can sequence break it, so you don't need the Sonata of the Week anymore. First thing I'm gonna do is load up on... Magic Beans. By that I mean Pichu. Gonna need 
those to grow the beans. And you know what? You know what, Scooby-Doo? Your mom eats cat food. This is a shortcut. Who cares if it's for poisonous water? Stop being such a wimp, Zora Link. Please stop. And off we go. Find the one area. These really are magic beans. If a single thing of spring water makes them grow like that. And then they hover. personally don't like beans. Green beans are good, but like any other type of bean, nope, I'm out. Sleeping Deku? Well, we could wake him up with some other We can even get at it. We don't need to wake him up. There we go. That's where the other one was. Oh, my God. 
to this room later. I need to find some bugs. That would be great. Climb up the ladder. Thank you. <laughs> or to run up the stairs. We're already more than halfway done with killing the sculpture, so that's nice. It's not taking as long as I think. I never noticed that he he's on the part of the wall where the light appears. That's nice. This game is full of the nice touches. Bonus box yields explosive device. Contains one. Not that one. Not that one. Bro, if I knew it was your hive, I wouldn't have destroyed it, but you didn't write your name on it. Always the last one I check. Alright, five left. Not the bees! I mean, to be fair, bees are freaky. Bees sting you, and I don't like things that sting me. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I don't think those are bees, because they're not beehives you're destroying, those are wasps' nests. Beehives are built inside of trees. <laughs> I 
I like how like the tiny little bugs beat the gold sculpture, which is enormous. They're okay, this is our home now. Beat it. Alright, I know where the last two are. But it will require me duplicating a bug. There we go. First one is over here. Unfortunately, the last one will require us to go all the way back up again. Man, Link is like, I really don't like climbing ladders. You're gonna have to push me into one for a solid four seconds before I'll do that. Sculptula houses are a kind of, uh, cool idea, I think. And considering there are only four dungeons in Majora's Mask, you kind of need it. Um, because, like, Majora's Mask does have a couple mini dungeons. It's got, like, the swamp, the Sculptula houses, the Pirate's Fortress, Castle of Akana, the Secret Shrine. I haven't even tried the Secret Shrine. I totally forgot about the Secret Shrine. I'm going there. did that for you. Give me a good prize. That was Stone Tower. Not sure what you were doing with that, but alright. Uh, let's see. Actually, before I do that... No, not... No. You know what? Whatever. No bird is closing. It's gonna be fun. I'll just replay. I'm gonna go to Clock Town because I got something for the hand in the toilet. <laughs> Specifically, the letter written to Cafe. Which I can't use because it's the second day. Also, vote, um... Well, I guess Nessie's the only one in chat, so Nessie, should I use the special delivery for Mama to get the postman's hat? Or should I use it to get whatever the bottle that she gives you personally got turned into? Both good options. Please. Sorry, Cafe. Yay! <laughs> I don't really want that $20, to be perfectly honest. Take this, someone dropped it in the toilet. Nah, I'm good. Someone... <laughs> Your most quoted moment from this game is in real life. <laughs> Paper, please. Is that the one? <laughs> okay, so I did that. Secret shrine next, I suppose. Almost a cure, brother, who would get the reference. <laughs> Can I even reach the secret shrine? Yeah, I 
I think I can. That is the wrong way, though. Is that the wrong way? I forget where the secret shrine is. It's near the waterfall. Because I'm pretty sure this leads to Severn Swamp. Yeah, that leads to Summer and Swamp. That's the grotto I was looking for. It's a gilded chest! The powder keg! I mean, it's too late to save Romani Ranch, but that's good to know. That's where the powder keg is. I will remember that. In fact, I will remember that by writing it down. Just gives you rupees, that's it. Oh, forget that. Well, I haven't seen all the enemies in these rooms because I haven't done all the dungeons. I forget, do you just fight the Garrow Master or do you fight Gomez? Gomez is my favorite Zelda D boss, like ever. It is kind of creepy, it's not too bad though. Oh, it's Beardy. Okay. For the third time in the stream. Oh, the heart shape masks hammer. Yeah, they're a little creepy. This guy just will not die. Toodles. Oh yeah, you get a lot of chests in here. I thought it was just one at the end, but no. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, my God. 
I don't think that's the intended way to do work, but works for me. This is gonna be a bunch of pieces of heart. Fifty bucks. The doors are a little unnerving with like the weird dragon like on them. It's like a dragon eating a heart. Hey, it's Garrow Master. All right. Kind of cool. I like the other boss, uh, the mini boss in Stone Tower, the Vampire Gomez. He's like the best ever. <laughs> the last one I have to do is the just plain old Zalfos. He's so out of place for a Zelda game, but it's so awesome. Like, they literally put a vampire in a Zelda game. <laughs> Even if throwing three of them at you is like still a stupidly easy fight. are an amazing person to have killed so many fiends. Thanks? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not even gilded. Yeah, Gomez is really cool. 20 bucks! <laughs> I wanted a peanut! <laughs> Money can be used in exchange for goods and services. Alright, well. I'm kind of at a loss now. There we go, except I guess they really want me to go to Stone Tower Temple. I'm not doing that this stream, though. <laughs> I've already done two dungeons. Uh, Bonanza! Where was I gonna go? Oh, that's right. I was gonna magic me. Big, big, big. So I think I'm gonna magic bean here. And after that I'm gonna go warp to the night of the final day. Gonna do the special delivery for Mama. And I'm gonna see what the curiosity shop guy has to offer.
First, I gotta get up there. Nice job, Link. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice job. No, you. Oh, do I need Scarecrow Psalm? First off, does Scarecrow remember my song that I did in a different timeline? No, he doesn't. Darn it. For the glory! That took way too long to play. Alright, fine. Stupid scarecrow. I forgot it resets every time. I forgot scarecrow resets every single time. Reset time. Which I mean makes sense, but still. It's annoying. That's not good. That's not good. Um... Okay, well that's not good. Hey, I, I am recording this though, so I can always just go back to the stream, pause, and take a look. I, I tried to make it left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, so you can play it really fast. Should have known better. shop doesn't open until 10, so let's make it happen as fast as possible. Yeah, you can easily make that like the Bolero of Fire or Nocturne of Shadow. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't even need the mask here. To enter the milk bar. Thanks for the twenty dollars, ma'am. She's like, you're a good private investigator. Here's twenty bucks. Please, sir, put on the cow mask. It's more professional. It's okay, man. Chateau. I don't think I'm gonna need it, like, at all. I'm, also, I have the map for everything except Southern Swamp. And that's okay. Southern Swamp doesn't have anything that I don't already have.
When I can pull off cool movement like that, it's actually really fun to beat a Zora. But that doesn't happen very often. Alright. Now for the absurd scarecrow song. I'm gonna have to literally go back in the stream. Actually, I don't think I can. Well, shoot! <laughs> okay. Left, right, left, down, right, left, right, right. Check what the scarecrow saw in the set too. I don't think there is. I really want to go backwards in the stream. All right, all right, I got it. I got it pulled up. All right, it's left, right, left, left, down, right, left, left. <laughs> Stupid scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I literally did is I had to stop... I didn't stop streaming, but I stopped the recording for, like, a second. Just so it would export, and then I looked at the video. <laughs> hey! It's the biggest bomb bag! Because <laughs> why not start with the biggest? So now I can actually do the Honey and Darling game. Sweet. <laughs> Alright. As far as I can tell, the only thing I have left to do for this timeline before we end the stream is we are going to Curiosity Shop. Because <laughs> actually, he's not even selling the All Night Mask, he's selling whatever the biggest bomb that I turn into, which I haven't seen what it is. So that's kind of funny. Open at 10 p.m. Well, let's just fast forward that. Hmm. Oh, I can't get a good look at the moon, can I? <laughs> you can see the moon aud like visually getting closer as the night goes on and the tremors keep going. Like, you can see he's getting bigger. <laughs> Alright, Curiosity Shop guy, what stolen good are you selling for me? Oh, I don't... Oh, it's... <laughs> Today's bomb... It's a bomb bag. That is a red potion. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? <laughs> what are you trying to pull there, bud? Alright. So I guess that's it for this timeline. One thing I, I am curious about, and I am going to check this, I want to see if there's any, if the Sonata of Awakening is behind the deposit 5,000 rupees in the bank. Because if that's the case... I'm going to do that off-screen. I'm going to do that off-stream, because that's just really boring. <laughs> Alright. So we go down to West Clock Town. West Clock Town. Bank reward number two is the Song of Storms. Okay. That... Could potentially be that could potentially be a problem if the Sonata of Awakening is whatever the Gibdo mask it used to be. Then I'm in trouble because then I do need the Song of Storms. 
Having said that, what I think I'm going to do is next stream... Uh, when I go back, come back next stream, which will maybe be tomorrow? I'm going to do Stone Tower Temple to start. And if it's not there, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Anju and Cafe side quest. Because you can get... I, I, there's a lot of stuff to be gotten from that. And after that, if there's nothing from that... Oh, and I'm also going to try to do the Honey and Darling game. If, if I can do that every day, then I get a reward for doing that. But beyond... <laughs> beyond those, if... If if I still don't have it at that point, I'm probably going to have to go back to bottom of the well so I can get the other two treasure chests there that I missed. And after that, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, and I can do Romani Ranch. I can save them from the aliens and do Cremia's Carriage. So that's two more. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that I can do. So that's going to do it for this stream. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Have a great day, and God bless.